You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about the Marxist NBA of China. But before we get into that, I want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching this video. Uh, subscribers to our website really do appreciate all the support that you've given us over the past year. And with that being said, guys, LaChana James, we need to talk about him. I wake up this morning and I find out that LaChana James makes his return to the court after a one game suspension for the Isaiah Stewart incident. And LaChina James is just as sensitive as ever. They're on the road. They're playing Indiana on the road. And LaChina James gets two fans ejected. He gets fans ejected from the game. And boy, this is just a weak move by LeBron James. Because he has to go running over to the referees. Apparently the referees didn't hear anything. LaChina James brings them over. Brings the referee over. Points him out and the fans, a woman and a man, are kicked out of the game because LaChina James can't take criticism. So let's go ahead. Let's dive into this. LeBron James has two courtside Pacers fans ejected in overtime win over Indiana. It says here a pair of fans sitting courtside at Gamebridge Fieldhouse were kicked out on Wednesday night after allegedly saying something to Los Angeles Lakers star LeBron James. James, midway through overtime of their 124-116 overtime win against the Indiana Pacers, grabbed an official and walked directly at the two fans in their seats. James pointed directly at the two fans, who were then quickly escorted off the court and out of the arena. I can't imagine Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant doing something like this, getting getting their feelings hurt over words, words. LeBron is super ultra sensitive, man. This this is just ridiculous, guys. Ridiculous. Let's go ahead. Let's play this clip here and you'll see LaChina James right here acting super duper weak. Here we go. Call it what you want. What, what is LeBron looking for? Oh, he, is he, somebody is. We got a fan that's that's got a little unruly, and LeBron is pointing it out to the officials. Weak, completely weak. The fans are booing. And what they're going to do is they're going to put these put them out. I don't know. Well, clearly, I wouldn't know what they said. They're on the other side of the court, but they're putting them out. I like it. She's I guess she's mocking the crying LeBron right there. I love that. I love that. And you can see um, her face right here. Mock it. She's not getting her feelings hurt about this. Um, I don't know if that's her boyfriend or her husband or what. You know, that's that's smiling about this. But LaChina James has to cry. And here here's a, a gift right here. <laughs> I like that. That you know that may actually be a new um a new meme that actually uh, goes out there. But it even says here they also didn't seem bother too bothered during their walk out of the arena and made faces to the crowd as they received a small ovation on their way to the tunnel. James didn't specify what the fans did exactly after the game, but hinted that they were using they were either using obscene gestures or language. Wow, because words hurt SJWs. And LaChina James is an SJW. Uh, either of those things, he said, aren't acceptable whatsoever. Quote, when obscene gestures and language come into it, can't be tolerated, James said. Well, they won the game. I guess, you know, LaChina James is happy about that. But what do you guys think of this? Super duper sensitive LeBron James can't handle criticism. He can't handle people heckling him. I mean, he's an opposing player on the road. What do you expect? This guy is super duper weak, super duper sensitive. You know, I have no respect for this guy. Absolutely no respect whatsoever. 
That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. LaChana James gets fans kicked out of the arena because he got his feelings hurt. Weak. This is one another reason why he will never, ever, ever be the GOAT. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.